Hello, welcome to another video in this character rigging tutorial series. So um, now that we've got the meshes um, all ready and neat uh, to start rigging, the next step will be to create the skeleton for Jinx. Um, but before we do that, it's really important that you understand how joint orientations work. And I'll use this example rig to try to explain it. So as an for animators, it's really important to be able to select the joints down a chain and when you rotate it, it should rotate the way you'd expect according to that axis. And same, let's for example select the torso and when you rotate it on the X, it should all rotate this way. And as you can see, it um, behaves how you expect it. And um, the way different joint chains rotate depends on the joint orientation of each of the joints in that chain. And I'll explain it in this empty scene. So I'll press space and go to the side orthographic view. And then under rigging, I'll select the create joints option. And then I'm gonna hold down X so that it snaps to the grid and create a joint chain like so. I'll hit enter to finish creating the chain. I'll hit space and go to the perspective view. I want to see the joint orientation of each of these joints. So I'll select all the joints in this chain and then I'll go to display, transform display and local rotation axis. Now you can see the orientation of each of the joints. So um, if I select the joint chain and if I rotate it this way, all of the joints rotate this way. If I rotate this way, all the joints rotate this way. It basically rotates in a predictable way. But let's see what happens if we um, mess up the joint orientations. So in order to be able to individually select and rotate the joint orientation, um, I'm gonna go s hit the right selection option which is the select by component op type and then I'm gonna right click the question mark and I'll select local rotation axis. So now that gives me the ability to individually select the local rotation axis. So I'll select this one and then I'll rotate it this way. And I'll select this one and I decide to rotate it, uh, let's say this way. And I'll select this one and I'll rotate it this way. Okay, so now they're all pointing in different directions. Now I'll go back to object type selection and I will select all the joints down this chain and I'll try rotating it in Z, see what happens. And it's basically rotating in a very unpredictable way now because all the joint orientations are messed up. So that's to demonstrate how important joint orientations are so that joint chains rotate in a predictable way that the animator expects. So now that we've got all the joint orientations messed up, let's fix it using the orient joint option in Maya. So I'll now select all the different joints in the chain then I'll go to skeleton orient joint and I'll hit the option box. Now there's three main parts to this. So we've got primary axis, secondary axis and secondary axis world orientation. So primary axis is the axis that points down the joint chain. So for example, if I want the Y, the Y, the green one, to um, point up so that they all um, basically point down the joint chain, then I'll hit the primary axis as Y. Secondary axis um, can be whichever one you select. So in this instance, I'm going to select it as Z. Um, and secondary axis world orientation. So if you look closely here, um, there is a x axis pointing to the right 
z pointing to the front and y pointing up. Secondary axis world orientation is basically how, where you say which way you want all the z axis of your joints to point. So I want all the z's to point in the z direction of the world orientation. So I'll set the secondary axis to C and secondary axis world orientation to C. So according to this, I'd expect all the Y axis of the joints to point upwards and all the Z's should point forward. So, all right, now let's see if it works. So I'll hit orient. And as you can see, it worked. Now all the Y's are pointing up and all the Z's are pointing in the Z in the world axis. Now if I select all the joints down the chain and rotate it this way, they all rotate the same. Rotate it this way, they all rotate the same. And basically, um, they're rotating in a predictable way. And that's why joint orientations are so important. And we'll basically be using this information throughout rigging so that different parts of the human body rotates in the way that you'd expect. In the next video, we're going to use this knowledge to jot down joints for Jinx's model. For real this time. Thanks for watching.